Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is another poem by Langston Hughes. I've read a few of his poems here on this podcast. He lived from 1902 to 1967. He was an American poet and activist and novelist and playwright. And uh, he wrote many, many poems, of course, and is best known as a member, um, a, a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. The poem that I'm going to read today is a, well, it's a summer themed poem and it's called Summer Night. This is how it goes. The sounds of the Harlem night drop one by one into stillness. The last player piano is closed. The last Victrola ceases with the jazz boy blues. The last crying baby sleeps and the night becomes still as a whispering heartbeat. I toss without rest in the darkness, weary as the tired night, my soul empty as the silence, empty with a vague, aching emptiness, desiring, needing someone, something. I toss without rest in the darkness until the new dawn, wan and pale, descends like a white mist into the courtyard. To say that Langston Hughes's poetry is jazz-like is <laughs> it um it almost is to parody commentary on Langston Hughes, um, or, or to say that it's like the blues or something like that is to to sort of make a mockery of of I think commentary on his work and of his work itself. But those kind of things are are said for a reason, and in a sense, when you read a poem like this, you get the sense that he was at least inspired by jazz music, right? Or, or even by the blues to some extent. There's a sort of freedom to the, to the way that he's approaching it. There's almost a stream of consciousness as if one idea is leading into the next in a way that's, um, if not free association, sort of reads like that or has that sense. There's a riff quality to it. There's a playfulness to it, even in a sad poem like this, a melancholy poem, um, a poem that if you read in certain ways, that is downright depressing. But I think if we take just that approach and say, well, this is jazz-like or, or whatever, then it doesn't speak to the real talent that Langston Hughes had because it's more than just like a riff. It's more than just free association or, or whatever. Because you know there's a, he's not a formalist, certainly, at least not here, he's not being a formalist. But there is a very sort of conscientiousness in the way that he structures his lines. Um, there's, it's, there's a clear element of decision making. I recommend you look up this poem, you know, online and, and see what he's doing with lines. Like the great poets who use free verse, you know, the ones who are conscientious, as to use a word I just used again, um, he is uh being cautious, not careless. He's being purposeful, not sort of negligent, if you will. He he's not just breaking it where it feels right, although that, I'm sure that played into it. There's ideas in every line. Um, the, the, there's, a, there's a concept, there's a theme at work in every line. So I think Hughes is one of those poets who really, there's a lot of value in seeing it. He's, he makes for a great poster on the wall for that reason, because you can hear it um, and you can hear the music in it. Um, but sometimes looking at it visually and just being able to kind of linger over it, or stand in front of a poster and see it every now and then. I think that really opens up a poem like this. So I recommend you do that with, uh, with this poem. Once more, here is Summer Night by Langston Hughes. The sounds of the Harlem night drop one by one into stillness. The last player piano is closed. The last Victrola ceases with the jazz boy blues. The last crying baby sleeps and the night becomes still as a whispering heartbeat. I toss without rest in the darkness, weary as the tired night, my soul empty as the silence, empty with a vague, aching emptiness, desiring, needing someone, something. I toss without, I toss without rest in the darkness until the new dawn, wan and pale, descends like a white mist into the courtyard. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.